I think what's different about this gun is that you're not just getting this sports car, right? You're getting like the special edition on top of that. KWA has really taken an extra step to give you guys something special. Right out the gate, no pun intended, is a Gate Titan MOSFET system. Married to that, Gate Titan is a speed trigger to give you that really great trigger response. And of course, there's the anodized blue flash hider. It's meant to match the body of the gun, to match the serrate coating. I think there's a really good match of the two colors and it blends in perfectly with that nice metallic blue. With any project, right, there's always a concern that it's gonna look really dope as artwork, but there's a chance that when it comes to fruition, when it comes to life, there's always that question mark. From the very first moment when we saw the gun, we knew that there was something special. Which is a really dark picture that I saw, like kind of mysterious. Like you couldn't ask for more out of a gun, right out of the box. Yo, YouTube, what's good? It's your boy Demo here, back with another video. And today I'm bringing you guys my review of the KWA QRF Mod 1 Special Edition. This is KWA's newest model, the QRF. They released both the Mod 1 and Mod 2, um, but this just isn't the standard one. This is the Special Edition one where KWA actually teamed up and collaborated with SpeedQB to create this monster right here. And, uh,. Damn, this thing is nice. Now, big shout out to KWA, man, because I actually teamed up with them to uh, help promote the mod one. I don't know if you guys remember, I did that crazy, like, music video, movie trailer, commercial. Eighty round 9mm magazine. Complete ambidextrous controls. Gate tight and compatible. I'm coming after you, Joe, because you do it for the crowd, boy. I do it for the culture. Yeah, wherever. You're under arrest, Lucky. Flocking and steady jocking my steelo. And they see me rushing. You can call me Demo. Because when I get the busting, boy, I shoot it like a free throw. I got money on my mind. TK on my waist, son. That was such a dope experience, man. I don't think anything has ever been done like that in Airsoft. And the squad we had for that was just. Amazing, man. Shout out to the gang. All right, y'all gonna have to excuse three things. The camera angle, the lighting, and my voice. I'm kind of sick, but we gonna get into it. All right, so what I'll do is I'll cover this gun front to back, back to front, and then we will just get into some specifics. So what makes this Special Edition Mod 1 so special? Well, this is actually a collaboration with KWA and SpeedQB to enhance not only the looks, but the performance of the Mod 1. I know y'all see this finish. This is this is dope, but, but before we get into that, look at this flash hider. This is probably the sickest orange flash hider I've ever seen. For one, it's anodized. Now, I don't know about y'all, I don't really rock the orange flash hiders on my guns, but if I were to rock one, it would be this one, bro. This, the finish on this is just, it's clean. It's, it's a nice anodized orange flash hider. So uh, yeah, KDB, and shout out to you guys for this. This is it's pretty dope. But the Mod 1 Special Edition actually comes with a blue anodized flash hider. Now, you guys can see, the blues are slightly off, but it's all good because when you throw it on here, honestly, it's not even as noticeable with the color difference, but man, that, that looks clean. Now, KWA's QRF series has a Mod 1 and a Mod 2. This is a Mod 1. Uh, you'll be able to recognize the difference. The Mod 1 actually has like a curved, almost like MP5-ish style magazine, and then the Mod 2 is going to have a uh, straight magazine, which actually I found out that the Mod 2 and the TK45 can actually share magazines because of the same style, same angle, so yeah. All right, so starting in the back here, you guys do have that same uh, style stock that they've been running on the TK45s and the Ronin T6s. Uh, this time, you can see it's got some MP5 vibe with this little curved uh, retractable, retractable, what? Retractable. Some real MP5 vibes with this stock right here. All right, so the stock has three positions. You guys got the completely collapsed, that I believe. Right here, it's kind of like a middle point. And then it should go one more, if I'm not mistaken, all the way out right here. Moving forward, you got a PTS. I think this is the EPGC. Correct me if I'm wrong, someone. But this is their polymer grip. I actually run this grip on all of my AEGs. Uh, it's comfortable. There's no little back beaver tail or whatever. It sits really nice and flush with the receiver. And I really like the angle that the motor sits in these grips. So PTS grip here. We also have PTS rear and front sights. Moving forward, what makes this special edition so special is that it does come pre-installed with a gate titan. There's a gate titan here pre-installed. You guys also get the adjustable HPA speed trigger so you can tune your trigger pull. I actually kind of touched this trigger already 
You can see it barely even moves. You guys also get complete ambidextrous controls here. You guys can see ambi selector. The charging handle has two sides here you can grab on. Speaking of charging handle, you put the charging handle back, reveals the hop up. You have a working bolt catch and release, so you can either release from right here or flip it around. You can press right here and release it. You guys can see. Release it. This is our team gun, so you guys can see we got the SYG custom engraved right there. It's probably hard to see with this lighting, but it's it's black on black, low key. When the light hits it, it kind of has like a brownish finish to it. One of my favorite things about the QRF is that I see all these pistol caliber carbines on the market and the magazine releases are like... One thing that I really, really like about the QRF, man, is this mag release. Like, for one, you get the standard kind of like lever right here. Then you also get an extended magazine release right here. Press that. And it's flipped. So even Ambi, you can hit it right here and the mag comes out. Now, speaking of the magazines, these are mid-cap mags. You guys got the follower, so it feeds every single BB. One thing though, keep in mind, they are 80 round mid-caps. So, uh, depending how trigger happy you are, you might need to pick up a few extras. Moving on up, we got this nice M-lock rail here. I think they have this on their TKs and some of their T6s. Uh, you see this rail, you know, KWA off the top of your head. And then, again, that blue flash hider right here, just looks sick. As far as this Cerakote job, uh, this was done by Airsoft and More. Shout out to Airsoft and More. Now, onto the design. I really like this design, you know, bias aside, I know my boy worked on it, but bias aside, I really, really like this design. If you guys want a complete detailed look and behind the scenes of the design process with Tom and Eric, uh, I'll leave a link in the description below, but that video was super dope. You can see everything that inspired them to go with this design. Bruh, Eric used to design stuff for Call of Duty. If you guys play Black Ops 2, yeah. I know some of you guys aren't too crazy on colorful guns or colors on your guns, or you just want either black or tan, but this is pretty sick. You guys can see it's got this like metallic like finish to it. It's just super clean with the blue and the white. Now, if you guys know me by now, you know from my reviews, I don't like to talk about the this is metal, this is plastic, this is this. I'm, a, I'm not too big on just modeling the gun, but I do like to get those points out there for you guys. But the main thing I want to do with this is take it to the field and we're just going to run it. Now, before I dress it up and show you guys what I'm going to run on, I also want to get onto some of these specs on the inside because I know that is super, super important. On the inside of this thing, you do have KWA's 2.5 gearbox with the VPS system, which basically means you can adjust your FPS on this thing. Now, in order to adjust the FPS on your QRF, what you do is you remove the stock, take this butt plate out, and you guys can see in here, you guys see where that screw is at? You're gonna wanna take a screwdriver and remove that. So once you guys remove that screw and that plate comes off, you're gonna wanna use this tool that comes with your QRF, fit it inside there, and once you get it in there, what you're gonna wanna do is you turn Counterclockwise turns down your FPS and clockwise increases your FPS. So counterclockwise decrease, clockwise increase. I got this thing shooting right at about 348 FPS. No cap, this thing is shooting like right at 350 um, at its lowest. And I think you can get it up towards 390, maybe 400 um, at its highest. But my indoor field, we play at 350 FPS and this shoots right under chrono, so perfect. Now, inside that 2.5 gearbox, they do have the Gate Titan pre-installed, so you can actually tune your trigger, um, and you're just gonna get a way better trigger response on an 11.1 with this than you would with the stock trigger. Also, KWA has their high torque motor in here and some high speed gears, so you get a pretty good rate of fire and a really snappy trigger response. Like, I'm not even fronting. Like, for this to be out of the box, solid. So I did kind of tweak with the trigger just a little bit. I still have some movements to do on it. But what I'll do is I'll plug a battery in and I'll show you guys it's trigger response real quick. All right guys, so I got my battery plugged in right here. Now, I'll show you guys real quick. This is semi with a slightly tuned trigger. I could actually tune that even lower if I wanted to. Semi, auto. I actually have this locked on the three round burst. So here's three round burst. Pretty nice, you guys can see I bet that's attached. Now I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys, this thing is a laser beam. I did some test fire and I got to shoot it just a little bit. Um, I'm actually gonna go field it tonight, but I got to shoot it just a little bit and it shoots beams. I don't know if KWA went with a R-Hop barrel or a modded barrel setup in here at all, to be completely honest, I don't know. Or I don't know if it's their stock barrel setup, but bruh, this thing is accurate. All right, so now that you guys got to know this gun a little bit, it's time to get a little more personal with it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw my accessories on here um, and show you guys how I would set this up and how I plan on running it 
And I guess I'll also show you guys how I'm going to carry these mags. Because I get a lot of questions on my YouTube channel about, yo, how do you carry SMG style mags? How do you carry extended pistol mags? How do you carry your ARP mags? What can you carry the QRF mags? So I want to show you guys how I plan on running this loadout. So the first like modification that I would personally recommend to anybody that picks up one of these QRFs is a, a battery extension plate. Now specifically, AirTech Studios makes this tanker cap uh, that fits on the Ronins, the TKs, and QRFs. Basically, if you have this KWA style stock, this is designed to fit on. And what it is, it's just a molded extension plate. So what you do is you just remove this plate and this replaces it, and now, you can fit larger batteries. Before the extension, I was just running these little mini brick batteries, little PEC box batteries, um, which are nice. They're a very, very good fit for this, but they don't last. You do get a little bit more room for batteries. I cannot fit this brick battery. Here's what I use on my DSGs. It sticks out this much. Only issue is that I can't get this cap to fit over at all, but you can actually fit nunchuck batteries in there, no problem. So this is with the nunchuck on. As you guys can see, obviously the stock plate's not gonna fit. But with the tanker adapter, I just gotta finesse it, make sure everything clicks and sits. And there we go, I'm in there. And that's with my high power airsoft nunchuck battery. Uh, this is an 11.1, 1600 milliamp, 15C. Uh, and this thing actually rips, man. So I'm gonna be running this with a gun tonight. This is something I highly recommend to you guys if you guys wanna run this thing a lot longer with different style batteries. So for sure, this. All right, so I love the way the QRF Mod 1 looks. The stock here is pretty cool. But I'm personally more of a fan of the stock that came on the Mod 2. Um, it also came on the Ronin T6. So we got in contact with KWA and they were able to get us the Mod 2 style stock. This is what the gun looks like right now. Taking the stock off and replacing it with this one. Boom, look at that. Just completely changes the gun. And I, I like this just for more so for the way I play and shouldering the actual rifle. So, all right, so we got the tanker battery extension. And then we have the stock. Now real quick with this extension on, uh, the stock doesn't collapse all the way, but the midpoint is right there. And you can still obviously retract all the way out to this point right here. Now, up next, you guys know how I am with my tracer units, man. I, I, I love this flash hider at KWA, but your boy gotta get that tracer footage. So next up, I'll be replacing this flash hider with an Ace Tech lighter that I actually vinyl wrap with this is carbon fiber vinyl wrap and that's all I did a lot of you guys are asking yo what's that carbon fiber tracer it's not a carbon fiber tracer it's just a regular tracer found some vinyl wrap on Amazon and I wrapped it with the carbon fiber vinyl wrap we're gonna put that on there Boom. so far that's how we rock it now we can't have these M lock rails and not use them you feel me so I got this M lock vertical grip right here that I'm just gonna add screw this grip on Boom. there you go so got this little M lock grip on the bottom here for a little bit more stability control when I am in the rifle. Now next up, I wanna throw an optic on this thing. These white rails are nice, but again, we gotta put everything to use on this. And this gun is so accurate, at least from what I test fired, I really wanna test it out more if I do have a dialed in optic uh, sitting on top, so that way I just be able to put the dial on somebody, pull the trigger, and I'd be able to hit my target. So I'm gonna go with the same optic that I was running in my TK45C video, uh, which is this right here. Now this is a replica RMR. You can find clones everywhere. I found this on EVIC. There's also this replica Scalar Works, Scalar Works. I, I still don't know how to pronounce it, but this replica mount right here, I think looks pretty sick. Now I usually run T1 style optics on my guns, but I feel like this just goes with the overall aesthetic of the gun. First thing put the mag in there. Oh, there we go, you guys. Y'all see it? Y'all see it? Yeah, this is lit, bro. I, I'm, I'm hyped for this. All right, last thing I'm gonna add is the run cam, the zoom cam, specifically the brain exploder one. Shout out to my guy, brain exploder, man. That's how you guys are getting, that's how you guys are seeing the zoom cam footage um, on his channel, on my channel, everything like that. So uh, I gotta throw this up front for the zoom cam footage. All right, y'all, so I got it all custom fitted to my liking, you feel me? And I'm uh, I'm excited, man. I'm gonna take this out to the field tonight. We're gonna see how it does, see how it performs, see how accurate it is. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm hyped. Now, I know you guys are also wondering how I'm gonna be carrying these mags and also how many of these mags I'm gonna be carrying, being that they hold 80 rounds. I mean, being that it's a Speed QB and KWA collab, it's only right that I rock the brand new Speed QB product. So, I got myself a nice little setup right here. This is the Speed QB backpack, the APK, the Atom Pack, um, which was designed for HPA, but you can rock it for whatever, man. If you, if you, if you going to Disneyland with your girl, bro, and you need a bag, telling you but you guys see I got the NCR set up these are uh, quad stack pouches by speaky B 
And a lot of you guys ask me questions on my channel like, yo, how do you carry your SMG mags? How do you carry your high cap mags? How do you carry extended mags? Look, it's this right here. It's a quad stack pouch. It holds four. You can fit standard pistol mags. You can fit these extended style magazines. And you guys can see I got four of them right here. And I also am going to be carrying four more on me because I don't know how trigger happy I am. I'm going to be carrying four more um, on a belt setup that I have as well. I'll see if I can get some shots of me actually wearing this on the field so you guys get an idea for actually what it looks like on me. And you know what? Hold up. Let me just throw this thing on right now. Squeeze through here. Yo, actually, sound off in the comments if you guys want a loadout video. I've been thinking of doing a 2020 loadout video, but I run so many different guns these days that, like, I don't have a set loadout, you know what I mean? Right, so I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit, you guys can see. This is how I'm rocking it, man. We got the four quad stack pouches with my patches on here, you know. Go get your merch for the culture. Just demo. You already know. But yeah, this is the setup. You guys can see. Got the little bag on the back, you feel me? Hey, I might have to run in the windbreaker though. This is kinda clean, you feel me? Okay. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna play in this windbreaker, bro. As much as I want to, I'm, I'm not gonna play in it. Guys, right, so that has been my quick little overview on the QRF Mod 1 Special Edition. You guys can see, I got it dressed up. How I'm gonna run it tonight, I got my loadout ready. Let's hit the field. Now, I'm gonna link you guys to the KWA website so you guys can browse around if you guys wanna cop a Mod 1 or anything. Check that out in the description below. But I'm gonna keep it a buck with you, bro. The Special Edition is completely sold out. Like, I think this thing sold out in a couple days to keep it real. But shout out to everybody who copped one of the QRFs, man. Um, I'm hyped that I was even blessed enough to get an opportunity to be involved with KWA. I, I saw this gun a while back and I didn't know what to expect for it, but it's been such an amazing experience and I genuinely want to thank KWA and everybody involved for, you know, bringing me such opportunities. But yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. We're about to hit the field and we're gonna see what this thing can do. Peace. We're at Tax City, and we're gonna see what this shoots at. I have it turned all the way down, so hopefully it passes. All right, so chrono test was about like 340. When I first test fired this with a brand new spring, it was shooting like 348, 350. Uh, spring's a little bit broken in, so but that's not bad for it to be turned all the way down and shoot 340. Gonna get a test fire. inside the Odin, you guys can kind of see, fits in there and you kind of have to hold it at a weird angle, but you should be able to load all 80 rounds. No problem. My bad, my bad, my bad. I didn't mean to shoot him a bunch of times, damn. What? Oh, he's out. I'm on your right, D. Oh, got him. Nice. One shot. Ran out of ammo. These angles suck. Oh. Yeah.
so first runs with the QRF and the zoom cam went down on me but it's all good I wanted to take a little bit slow kind of test out the range and the accuracy of the gun and I was getting some pretty far kills I think first game out I picked somebody off of the sniper tower from across the field well the run cam is dead hey, there's someone in the tower don't let me snipe him out the tower Right on. So that's really a testament to the barrel setup and everything in this gun. So it's pretty accurate, but now that the zoom cam don't work, I'm gonna just have to get up close and personal and see what this thing does. Oh, all right. Yeah. Good shit, though. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 